Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while. It's been a few weeks since I got a video out and uh, we've been super busy since we did the podcast with Gary Vee. And then we were in Salt Lake City for a week with a bunch of our influencers and now we're back and we're trying to get things set up for holiday sales on our end, etc. <coughs> As we move into the holidays, and I want you guys to get the best bang for your buck, and I want you guys to get the, the most out of your Facebook ads. Uh, some of you are just starting, this is your first time around, and you are you're been intimidated to run Facebook ads before, and I want you guys to win. So uh, the best thing you could do is go for the lowest hanging fruit first. And what do I mean by that? I want you guys to retarget people who've had the most intent to do the thing on your website, but didn't do the thing, right? So for most of us, that's e-commerce. You want people to make a purchase. They didn't quite make a purchase. Maybe they were checking out some products or they initiated the checkout and they left and they uh, abandoned the cart or whatever. Um, this will work even if you don't have their email address for abandoned cart emails, et cetera. If you don't know what I'm talking about throughout this video, I've done tutorial videos on all of these things. Uh, so, and I will, there'll be little cards that pop up along the way, or maybe I'll leave some links in the description below uh, to the specific tutorials on how to do some of these specific steps. Step one, make sure the pixel's on your website. If you haven't done that already, you might be a little late to the game, but you still need to do that immediately. Step two, I want you guys to go in and create a few audiences. And the first audience I want you to create is of the people who've done the thing. So you'll be able to go and create a new audience of people based on website traffic. And then in there, you'll be able to either put in a URL, a specific URL, and in some cases, depending on your website platform and provider and the way your pixel's set up on there, it will give you uh, a drop down of things to choose from. If you have the ability to choose people who've completed a purchase, choose that. If you aren't able to choose people who've made a purchase, you need to type in the URL of the confirmation page, of the thank you page, of whatever they land on after they make a purchase. And that's how you can track people who've made a purchase. And then you need to put a window of time. And this is gonna vary from business to business, but a 30 day window is probably gonna work pretty good. It's pretty, pretty generic time frame there. So once you've made that audience of people who've made a purchase or have done the thing over the last 30 days, I want you to go and create another audience of people wherever you think fits best, but people who have the most intent just before doing the thing. So a really good place to start for good ROI is people who've initiated, initiated a checkout but didn't make a purchase. So I want you to go in and create another audience of people. And again, if you can select a dropdown of initiated checkout, do that. If not, you probably want to retarget people who've been to your shopping cart page. And you can do a time frame on that. I wouldn't go terribly long on this. Maybe 15 days is a good place to start. Um, so that, you, again, we want to get the most out of your money initially. And then you can start opening that window up later and create you know, audiences over a longer period of time. But uh, 10, 15 days is probably a good period of time. And then when you go in to create your Facebook ad, you wanna optimize your ad for conversions. That's going to allow Facebook to get you in front of people who are most likely to make a conversion or make a purchase. Uh, Facebook groups people into scrollers, clickers, and buyers as you see those different uh, optimization uh, objectives when you create an ad. You've got like brand awareness, and you've got traffic, and you got conversions, scrollers, clickers, buyers. Anyway, so you wanna optimize for conversions. So when you start to create that ad, you will select your audiences. So make sure the first audience you select to include is going to be the people who had that most intent. So if that's the initiate checkout, viewed product, et cetera, that's where you wanna choose that. And then just below that, you're gonna see a button that says exclude. Exclusions are the biggest way to narrow down your audience to make sure you're getting the most targeted audience you can. So exclude people who have purchased. You obviously don't wanna run ads to people who've already done the thing. So that's how you exclude them. So once you've done that, you'll go to the next screen and you can start to put in your creative. So you'll set up the ad, you'll put in your pictures and your ad copy. Uh, this is where you need to get creative on whatever it is you think you need to do to close the deal. Uh, whether that's incentivize it with a coupon, if that's the value proposition of whatever your service is or your product offers or whatever the case is, 
this is where you need to really sell yourself, really close that deal. Uh, the variable here could be the success of your campaign or not. So make sure that uh, you're, you're being very thoughtful with this. And then you may have to try a few different things uh, along the way. You, know, you may have to let this run for a few days. And if it's not doing anything, maybe go back, create a new ad, change the picture. Uh, you can select up to six pictures at a time as well and let them run against each other. And Facebook will optimize for the best performing one. So keep that in mind. You might wanna try six different photos with the same copy. Um, and there's a lot of other nuances and other things you can do, but we wanna keep this simple for you guys right now. So go ahead and, and get that set up, get that put in there. If you're new to this, your budget can be really, really small. You can probably spend 10 bucks a day and start to see a return on that, uh, which is gonna be super exciting for you. Start to see more conversions, but I can almost guarantee you, you're gonna see an immediate positive ROI on setting up an ad to the people that had the most intent to do the thing but didn't do the thing. I hope that makes sense. And then as you see more conversions and you're making more money from those ads, reinvest that money. Start getting more people into the funnel. Spend money at the top of the funnel, fueling that section of the funnel, getting people to the site to get to the, to the intent. Most people don't purchase immediately, so you have to get them into that lower funnel retargeting. That's where you see your ROI. The rest of, a lot of times, the rest of your money is spent just getting people to that point. So. That's it, that's all I got for you. That's the biggest piece of advice I have for you in getting started in your Facebook ads uh, for the most ROI today. Uh, we should have some more vlogs and things coming out soon and make sure you check the description below for the links to the, some of the tutorials and things of that nature. Let me know what happens. Let me know if there's any questions I can answer for you. You can find super awesome content like this at beefbrody.com. See you guys later. Peace.